morning. Oh, we didn't have a particularly late night last night. Yeah. What a glorious morning. Beautiful. So we had a good day yesterday. Let's see if we can see. Managed to get that field there cut. Uh, another one over there behind the combine cut. And also we've done one over in the distance over there. But that is covered in poppies. And they are a um, I don't know how I've ever grown a field of poppies, but I have. So it's time to get the big pig checked over. Always to top the water up a little bit. It's pretty good. They're all good. This takes a little bit. Not a lot. Oh, good. Right. That's that done with. Put a spanner in my pocket because I'm going to need that. I've lost all my combine spanners. Get the air filter blown out. Because that had a hard day. And then we'll Nothing else to do up here. I can't blow the radiator out, maybe. Um, yeah, I've got to blow the combine out anyway. So, oh, yeah. Now I won't bother firing it up just yet. I'll get the side panels up, get it greased up, and then I've still got some poppies in the tank, which are nans. Yeah, they're all green, which is even more nice. Um, yeah, a few, few days to dry off. I mean, I've still got two weeks, 10 days cutting to go out if we have a good day every day i've still got that time to cut so <clears throat> might just go and get put a whiff of roundup on if i get time today but it's going to be hot all right grease done yay let's get started boy. we will get this header dropped off i'll go and unhook that now we'll get the poppy rubbishy poppy uh wheat out of the um out of the tank uh, it doesn't look too bad. I think once it died off, I'm more worried about it being green than I am worried about it going up. Going off to uh, being sold, you know? So, right. Oh, sunglasses. I can't wear my uh, polarized sunglasses in here because I can't see the screen. So that's a bit annoying. I'm going to get my header dropped off. Get that all uh, bolted down on the trailer so we can move up to the other field. And then we hopefully could get going. 9, 10 o'clock time this morning, I think. Be a good, good start to take. Now, this is going to hurt. Luckily, I only have to do this a few times a season, but everyone, people do this every day, don't they? I haven't filled this up yet. And I'm still on core of a tank. Ugh. Yeah. Thankfully, I only have to do this about two or three times a season, which kind of points in the direction of I don't really need a bigger combine 
but I just want one. It was sell nine nana on eBay. See how much you get. Um, yeah, I don't have to do it very often, but this is gonna hurt. I should have zeroed it really. See how much I put in it every day. Ooh. Got a long way to go, yeah. Yeah. We'll leave that filling for an hour. Goes to show the quality of stuff we were cutting last night. A lot of green and stuff in it. That's the joys of having Roundup. We lose Roundup. Yeah, uh, it's time to pack up farming. Uh, it is still a good tool in our arsenal. So I've spent a thousand pound on diesel so far this morning. And it's eight o'clock in the morning. Sweet! But, as Dad always says, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggshells. So, considering how much I've cut, I mean, the spuds are getting a, a, a real good watering as well. Considering how much I've cut with a combine, it's not too bad. Right, just gonna get big pig blown down quickly. Moving away from the farm now. Oh, it's a baler. I think it's a baler. Yeah, it is a baler. Um, who put that there? I wonder why they ain't gone very far. I didn't realize they put it behind the yard. Um. Yeah, found a, found a New Holland. Go and fire that up and uh, get some bailing done before they get here. Don't let me know. I know Russell watches the channel, so hello Russell. <coughs> oh, there we go. Good afternoon, Fernandez. Ah, forgive me for having a bit of a, another dull day. I'm still not feeling 100%. I'm now sucking on a supers. Ah. <laughs> yeah, kind of whole day like that, really. So, uh, Kaz and Mrs. Farmer, Mrs. Farmer has been down, <laughs> Kaz and Mrs. Farmer. Uh, Mrs. Farmer has been down helping me uh, run trailers. She's been a trailer monkey for this afternoon, which has been great. And she's gone home now, and she just texted me, and I was like, Ooh, I need to do some filming. We've got lightning going on all around us. Uh, big old bolts of lightning going on. I think, I think the storm's moving across that way. Um, but it's not good. Um, that bolt of lightning with no rain strikes, strikes a wheat field somewhere that ain't uh, been cut or whatever. Either. They're going to lose that. Um, he's going to set fire to stuff. So hopefully. As you can see, the irrigators go one, two, three, four, five. How many more can I see? Uh, two combines going over there. David Waters, say hello, David, if you're watching. Uh, six irrigators I can see in my eye line going. And a combine over yonder. But what a lovely evening to be combining. Uh, would, would I rather be sat in here? No, I doubt it. Sat in has been a knob today. I threatened it would have been turned off. And it, and it started working. So I might have to threaten it again in a little while. Yeah, glorious, isn't it? I don't know if dirty. There was another bowl of lightning. It just went came through on the radio. It must be getting closer. The radio just chirped up. But I'm trying to leave the camera out somewhere, so if it happens, you can spot it. But that one must have been close. Either that or I've got cab corn going on. David, David Waters in the distance over there. There's a round baler and stuff going on. There's two combines going over there. So it could be a long night. Watch this space. Will we get struck by lightning? Will we get onto another field? I've already done 50 acres there. So that's a bonus. Uh, this is another 30 acre field. Another 30 acre field. We'll see how far we get. I'm running, I'm running out of battery time, so. I'll just keep giving you a little update of how we're getting on and uh, we'll see you guys in a little while. 